Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. In the previous tutorial, we did all of the groundwork in connecting to our data sources. And today we get to do the fun part, we get to create the visualization. So what will we be talking about today? Well, first of all, of course, we'll be talking about blending and more advanced blending. So you'll see uh, a real life example of how to apply blending and get uh, results. And also you will learn how to do a dual axis chart. So I will show you how to create a dual axis chart today, which is um, a quite a valuable skill to have in terms of your Tableau dashboarding and creating cool visuals. So let's get straight to it. Here, as you recall, we have two data sets um, or data sources, list of orders plus order breakdown, which will tell us um, the dates when certain items were sold or when orders were made and uh, how those orders are broken down into diff two different items and what the sales on those items were. And also we have the sales targets data set, which gives us the targets for our sales for the different departments for the separate months. So as you recall, the level of granularity for these two data sources is different. Sales targets are um, at the level of detail of um, a category and list of orders plus order breakdown are actually at uh, a much more granular level. They are at the level of items which constitute orders. So let's go ahead and start creating our visual. To start off with, we're going to uh, want to visualize by a month. So we're going to drag the order date into columns and we're going to convert this into month. So we're already used to that. We know what's going on here. Next, we're going to look for sales. So we've got the sales here in the measures and we're going to put sales onto our rows. And right now that gives us automatically a line chart, but we're going to change that to a bar chart because that is a bit more representative in our case. A better representation. So there we go. It might be a bit, um, in this particular instance, it might be a bit too cluttered. So we'll just make it the reduce the size to give some room between the bars. Okay, so that's our sales for that for every single month, uh, the total sales for all of the departments. So what else we can do now is we can take uh, the category and drag the category into, let's say, um, we can drag it into color, which will give us these uh, bars, like the bars are now colored uh, into three colors uh, because of the different categories. But um, we want to visualize the categories separately. So we're going to take categories again, and we're going to drag them into rows. And this gives us categories separately here. Um, now, this is a bit uh, too big to fit in our visualization, so we'll reduce the size. And there you go. So there you have how the categories or the different departments, furniture, office supplies, and technology have been performing uh, since uh, the start of 2011 all the way up to 2015. So what we want to do now is we want to add in the sales targets for these departments and see how they have or have not been meeting those sales targets. So where is that data located? Well, it's located in our second data source, sales targets. Let's click on that. Here right away, you can see uh, that familiar orange uh, line on the left, meaning that this is uh, a potential secondary data source to our visualization. We already have a primary data source and it is marked here with a blue uh, little uh, check mark. And right away, Tableau has already recognized that category is um, a a potential field that it can join these two data sets on because once again the name of the field uh, is the same in both data sets we have category here and we have category here and the reason why this link is already orange not gray is because as you recall category is already part of our visualization so if category weren't in our visualization this link would be gray so we can have a look at that if we just whoops if we just take category out uh, momentarily, you can see that the link is gray because Tableau recognizes that this uh, field is not a part of the visualization, so there might not be a need to join on this field. So we're going to put category back by pressing Ctrl Z. Okay, so how do we get our uh, dates into this, uh, or sorry, not dates, how do we get our targets into this visualization? Well, first things first, we know that our join has to be performed not only on category, but also on month of order date. And that is because, um, as you recall, sometimes we have to join on many fields. And in this particular case, uh, the 
sales targets are set at the month level. So they're set for categories or for the different departments, but they're set at the month level. So let's go back to the data source and have a look here. You can see that for every single month for the category furniture, there's a, a separate sales target for every single month. So therefore, when we are joining to uh, or blending to our existing data, we have to blend not just at rolled up category level, but also we have to include the month of uh, order date granularity. If we just blend right now with only category as our um, field that Tableau will be blending on, what will happen is Tableau will, as you remember, Tableau sends separate queries to each data set. It aggregates to the required level of granularity and then it brings the data back and blends it. So in this case, what would happen is Tableau would go back, it would take uh, all of these rows for furniture, it would roll them up, so it would take the sum of the target, it would disregard month, and it would bring back the sum of the target for furniture, and it would blend it to every single um, row here. So that's not what we want. We can have a look at that. So if we take target and we drag it into in here, you will see, and let's just make it... Um, so if we open up the target control panel, we'll just take out the category um, from color and we'll just drag it into detail so that it doesn't affect the color. Here you can see that the target is always um, the same, 621,000, which is unreal. It's not the right target. Here it's also the same. And here it's also the same. Uh, so it's not changing month to month. And that is because we're not uh, aggregating at, oh, sorry, month of order date is being aggregated. It's not being considered as... Uh, a level of granularity for our chart. So let's go ahead and fix that. As you recall, uh, we can control the blend or the how the blend is being created through um, this control box here. So we're going to go to data, edit relationships, and here you can see we've got the automatic field that has been selected. So now we're going to change it to uh, custom. We'll keep category, but also we'll add in a new one. Here we want to use order date, but we want to use month of order date and join on um, also month of order date. That's good. But also month is not just enough because as you remember, these are categorical variables. We need to also take the one above month, which is year. So we have to make sure that the year is also included. Otherwise, we will mix up different months from different years. So we'll take year of order date on this side. And here we'll also take year of order date. And if we click OK now, as you can see, there's a link, and now the category um, or the targets have been adjusted, and as you can see, they're reflecting what is the reality. And we can easily check that. So let's say January 2011, sales target for furniture was $5,000 or $10,000. If we go to the data source, sales target for furniture in January 2011 was $10,000, and it's gradually increasing. So that's great. And now let's just quickly change this um, from a bar chart to an area chart because it looks better like that. And let's quickly have a look at the different targets that these different departments have set themselves. So you can see that the furniture department has a very linear growing target. So it's basically uh, got a um, coefficient that every month the sales should increase by a certain amount. Then the office supplies department has a quarterly target. So every three months, uh, the target is different, the monthly target is different, so they basically review their targets every quarter and adjust them according uh, basically to season seasonality or expect expected supplies and things like that. And finally, the technology department uh, reviews their targets annually and sets them uh, sets the same target for the whole year, so every month we'll have the same target. So it's very interesting how the different departments have different um, targets and different ways of setting them, and you can see this right away through the data, even without uh, talking to management and understanding uh, their takes on it. Right away, you already have this information. That so that's a very cool part of uh, data discovery. Um, that is uh, the targets below the actuals. What we want to do now is we want to combine these charts so we can actually visually compare them very easily and seamlessly. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a dual axis chart. And it is actually much easier than it sounds. So it might, it might be very hard to do in Excel. In Tableau, it is extremely simple. And I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So all you have to do is you just right click on your target here and you click dual axis. 
And then one more thing, which a lot of people forget, very important, second step in a dual access chart right away, you right click on this uh, axis on the right here and you click synchronize axis. That is very, very important because if you don't, uh, as you can see right now, they're aligned. So 40,000 at the top, 40,000 at the top here. But if you don't synchronize, you like I press Ctrl Z here, so this is um, synchronized, this is not synchronized. You can see that they have separate axes, and that way you can get really confused and the people reading the chart can um, get the wrong uh, insights. So we're going to synchronize the axis, make sure you do that every time. And that finalizes uh, the process of creating a uh, dual axis chart. Of course, you can uh, make adjustments uh, further down the track, but this is pretty much how, what it looks like. And from here, you can get insights into each one of the departments. So you can see when they're above the um, above their target, they're meeting the target or exceeding it. When they're below, they're not. So here again, you can see the uh, same thing. Um, right now, the gray uh, area chart is in front of the t uh, of our bar chart. We want to put it, if we want to put it behind, we have to just take some target here and drag it to the left, and that will switch places. And as you can see, it looks much better now. The gray uh, chart is behind, and you can visually compare uh, for every department to kind of see how they're performing uh, along the way. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make this a bit bigger, so the chart looks so we can see the chart a bit better with bigger bars and increase the size of the bars. So go to um, sales, size, increase. So as you can see, that already looks really good, starting to look very good. Um, that's how you create a dual axis chart in Tableau. Remember about synchronizing the axes, it's very important. And that brings us to the conclusion for today. Next time, we will take this chart one step further and we'll introduce a calculated field within the blend, which is a whole different, whole separate topic in Tableau and it's important to know how to do that. And uh, that will uh, hopefully finalize this chart for us. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.